I got access to McKamey Manor's Facebook group. And you know what? I think I can see why they don't want anyone joining. This week's video is going to be a lot more than silly Instagram accounts or weird YouTube videos. I've made it my job to insert myself into the strangest parts of the internet. But this time, I had to pull some major strings to get there. This is a private group and I've censored everyone's names. But even at that, I think you're still going to understand my point. Which is that McKamey Manor and everyone associated with it is insane. For those of you who haven't heard of it yet, McKamey Manor is the world's worst haunted house. During a normal haunted house tour, you might expect to find paid actors, jump scares, maybe a chase sequence or two. Well, uh, the McKamey Manor was waterboarding people and shaving their heads and breaking their bones. I'm not gonna insert any pictures of that, but chances are you've already seen one of the many videos that covers this topic. You see, McKamey Manor took the internet by storm. The terrifying truth of McKamey Manor. Truth. I know a lot about McKamey Manor. McKamey Manor. Manor. Experience Manor. Experience with McKamey Manor. As you can see, these videos are racking up tons of views, and I would never turn down tons of views. But the issue is it's old news. McKamey Manor got a ton of backlash on everything from taxes to tactics, and it hasn't really done any of the more egregious activities since 2016. It largely faded into irrelevance, and they lost the original property that the Manor tours happened on, having to downsize from bustling California to rural Tennessee. Now, the owner, Russ McKamey, who is a very creepy man that we will be discussing later, operates a smaller, safer version of the McKamey Manor, where the only way to get in is by performing certain tasks on his super exclusive private Facebook group. And and that was the end of the story. Except I got into the Facebook group. Here's how I pulled that off. 25,000 members. Now it said that 300 new members had been added within the past 30 days, so I figured if I was casual enough, I might be able to work my way into the incoming crowd. The rules seem simple enough, no cursing, no inappropriate comments. One thing I did think was a little weird was that one of the rules says, this group is for true fans and not people following hate groups. If a moderator notices you in a hate group, you will be removed from this group. True fans of what? McKamey Manor? Russ McKamey? Let's just say I found out the answer pretty quickly. So the questions I had to answer to get into the group are pretty simple, but here's the thing. I don't use Facebook. So my profile was completely empty. I realized I would need to make it look like a normal person before they got around to seeing my request. First off, I needed a profile picture. Now, using my face wasn't a good idea. I mean, I don't get a million views per video yet, but in a group of 25,000 people, there's bound to be someone who's familiar with my content. I didn't want to just steal someone else's content, so I hopped over to this person does not exist.com and bam. One artificial intelligence generated face. Why does this look so real? I hate this website. Anyway, one issue here is that my name on this account is DS Wallace, and I didn't see a way to change it. But honestly, the probability of someone seeing this picture, the name DS Wallace, and assuming it's the YouTuber D'Angelo Wallace creating a fake profile is really, really low. As for my header image, I just threw on a vaguely scary picture that I had taken and bam. DS Wallace was ready to join the McKamey Manor tour group. I got declined after two days. I can tell they declined me because I went back to the group and it no longer said pending just join. I mean, to be fair, my account was completely empty and it was obvious that I had just joined the site to join the group. That plus, I immediately tweeted out after sending my request that I had joined the Facebook group, so... Didn't think that one through. But I did think through the fact that I might not think things through. So while I signed up, I asked my friend, who's a regular Facebook user, if he could sign up too, just in case. He got declined too. I started to get suspicious. It said that they had let in 300 members, but I went and looked at a video about McKamey Manor that had come out two weeks prior, and I saw that they had a screenshot of the group with 25,000 79 members. Well, looking at it right now, the group only has 24,910 members. So this group wasn't accepting new people. It was kicking them out. I've come to the conclusion that there is no way to get into this Facebook group right now. It's not just on lockdown. They are aggressively removing people. But when you tell me I can't do something, you're just guaranteeing that I find a way to do it. So I turned to my friends on Discord for help, and by some insane coincidence, one of them was already in the group. We exchanged a couple of messages back and forth, and now I too can see the group. But uh, that might have been a mistake. My initial impressions... This place is scary. This is like a funhouse mirror version of a Facebook group. Right off the bat, I noticed that there's this weird dynamic between Russ McKamey and the people in this group. They talked about him the way you talk about your favorite singer or YouTuber. Like he's a celebrity almost. People were wishing him happy birthday with pictures of their kids, talking about how they finally got to meet him. It was weird, okay? It's like a Russ McKamey fan club. So that was concerning right off the bat, but the more I scrolled, the more I started to get a picture of the average member here. These people are... Off. They have all the energy of active Facebook members with 
a dash of insanity. Someone posted this meme where it says, not a cell phone in sight, just a kid living in the moment. Which seems like your average phones are bad. Facebook meme, right? But it was a picture of a kid waterboarding a teddy bear with a bag over its head. Kids just copy what they see. So what I wanna know is, where did you even let a kid that's two feet tall find out about this kind of stuff? But the weird McKamey stands and creepy memes were just the superficial part of this group. The real highlights, were the star challenges. Basically, the only way to get into the McKamey Manor in current year is to complete a star challenge. To do this, you have to go live in this Facebook group and live stream yourself completing certain tasks that Russ and the mods pick out for you. The star challenges are free for any member to join. All you have to do is comment, I want to be a star. This sounds fake, right? Like a creepy old man running a private game show of dedicated fans competing in challenges. This sounds like something from a movie. These people are living in their own young adult dystopian novel. So the star challenges range from slightly weird to completely bizarre. For example, one star challenge said to go live with a partner who would ask you McKamey Manor trivia questions picked by Russ from the live chat. And for each question you got wrong, this partner would spray you in the face with a garden hose while blindfolded. I mean, that's kind of silly, kind of really weird to live stream yourself getting hosed down. And I quickly started to realize that humiliation was a theme with these star challenges. Another one said to go to your local grocery store, live stream yourself dressed as a safari guide, and pretend like you're a wildlife expert narrating the items in the store. Remember, you can't get into McKamey Manor unless you complete these challenges. So basically, you have to publicly humiliate yourself for Russ McKamey in front of a live stream chat and whoever else happens to see you in real life. Other star challenges included dumping honey on your head while singing old 80s songs and taking 10 pieces of shrimp, a whole can of oysters, 10 pickle slices, blue cheese, and hot sauce, and eating it. Imagine the smell. This is making me sick to my stomach just by thinking of it. These messed up star challenges aren't the only live streams that happen though. Russ takes it upon himself to live stream the people going through manor tours, and he seems to get an extra kick out of it when people find themselves unable to continue. So this entire Facebook group is a group of people infatuated with Russ McKamey going out of their way to publicly humiliate themselves in the hopes that they can one day meet him where he'll be able to live stream himself as he wears them out physically and psychologically. This is kind of messed up, but you know what? This weird little empire that he's built is crumbling from the inside out. Part of the reason so many people are getting removed from the group is that Russ and the mods are paranoid. Because of all the backlash they were getting from all across YouTube, it's not uncommon to find posts trying to downplay the videos, not because they're against McKamey Manor, but because they're against Russ. I also believe that's why they didn't let me or my friend in, and why so many people are being removed. Russ McKamey is trying to minimize incoming criticism for his bizarre antics. But because he's not letting people in, he's getting more desperate for the people that are there to join the manor doors. Here you can see them bending the rules and watering down the star challenges in the hopes that more people will attempt them. It's common knowledge in this group that the tours are no longer as interesting as they were back in 2016, and even Russ himself acknowledges that he's losing his edge. On top of that, many people talk about how they're unable to make get all the way out to the manor. Because of this, moderators are getting more and more aggressive in their recruitment tactics. I saw an interaction between a mod and a fan where the mod basically pressures the fan into joining the star challenge. It's a really disturbing state of affairs. Everyone knows that McKamey Manor is bad, so at this point, no new people are going to be joining this willingly. So instead of accepting new people, the whole purpose of this group is for Russ McKamey to get people who are already interested to come to his house so he can do weird things to them and live stream it for free because he doesn't even get paid from this. So do with that information what you will. Anyway, that's my dive into the extremely private McKamey Manor Facebook group. To be completely honest, this was the first time out of over 50 videos that I've made that I've been scared to post a video. I don't know if they're gonna try to take it down, but I censored everyone's name so nobody's personal information was exposed. But nevertheless, if this disappears, you know what happened. That being said, this is the perfect time to bring up my new Patreon, which just launched today. You get access to all of the videos on this channel 24 hours early, and if they get taken down, you still get to watch them. You also get access to a Discord server for patrons, and I'm there too, so that's nice, I guess. Anyway, if you like this video, you'd probably like the six other videos I posted this week. That's right, I post daily videos on my second channel, about whatever I feel like talking about that day. So look in the comments or the description for a link to much less fancy, but much more frequent uploads. Anyway, looks like we've gotten to minutes of content. Now, this will leave a like to Moji. Thank you, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. And a big thank you to my 278,000 subscribers. Okay, bye.